Hi friends, this is Caitlin and today I'm excited to be sharing with you my one year anniversary of being on YouTube. So just a throwback, this was the first card project I ever posted on YouTube, which was August 6th of 2021. And so I'm going to be creating a card today that's kind of a little nod to that using some scrap packaging, this really pretty blue and dots and stripes from the All the Dots paper pack from Lawn Fawn. I wanted to kind of tie in some of the colors and themes of that first card, but kind of make it you know, my updated 2022 version. So I'm gonna be using these Biddy Sentiments, the cue, the confetti, and the little banner, which is the same um, pack of sets that I used for that original one. And then this time the pig's not gonna be alone. He's gonna be partying with a bunch of friends because now I'm not alone on YouTube either and I have all of you guys by my side and I appreciate you so much for being here. So I'm using that leftover packaging and then I have this really beautiful confetti from this calls from confetti. This is the navy and I'm also going to be adding in one more color but we'll get to that closer to the end. So we're going to be making an almost full pan or shaker and if you are new here now is a great time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm keep pushing my videos out to people like you who are looking for crafty inspiration every Friday. So I'm trimming down my stripey panel to be a standard A2 sized panel. I'm trimming down my polka dots to just be a little smaller. So that's gonna be five by three and three quarter. So we have a nice little border frame all the way around. And that dot panel is what is gonna become our shaker. Since it's been a whole year, I decided that I would treat myself to a new stamp chamois from Lawn Fawn. Did you see how gross that old one was? It's so bad. I'm so excited to have a fresh chamois. Um, maybe next time I won't let it go a whole year before I stock up, but it will definitely be with another Lawn Fawn chamois. They're absolutely amazing and I love them. I will repurchase that for the next time I need one. I'm stamping out my sentiment and my image both on Copic Express It paper. I find that if I'm using white for my sentiment, I like to put it on the same paper that I'm going to be coloring on just so that the white of the paper is the same. Um, so I stamped that onto Copic, a little piece, scrap piece of Copic Express It, even though I'm not going to be coloring it. And then this image is from the My Favorite Things Stacy Acula Happy Birthday Herd stamp set, which is absolutely adorable. It's got all of these squares that you can turn into like little Polaroids, but for this one, I thought it was just so perfect to be able to cut it out. I have the coordinating die to do that, but you can also just obviously fussy cut it because it's a square, it's super easy, or use any other kind of dies that you might have to cut that out. And I just think these little party animals are so cute. I definitely used a lot of different shades here. I'll make sure that everything's listed in that description box below for you guys. But always I put my markers up on the screen while I'm coloring so you can kind of at least get a good idea of what's going on. And I um, just really wanted to give each animal its own kind of character its own color scheme. So there are a good bit of markers used in here. For all the animals, we're pretty much sticking with neutrals. The pig is obviously, has to be a cute coral pink. And then I'm gonna be adding in blue, purple, and pink accents that are gonna help to tie in all of the sequins and the confetti and stuff that's going on in the background. So we're gonna give them a really cute little color scheme theme going on here. And I just wanted to thank you all for being here um, over the last year. I did really want to celebrate reaching my one year milestone on YouTube. And, you know, it's been a crazy year um, as of today, which is Friday, August 5th, the day this is going live. Um, I have, we are a community, I should say, of about 1,175 subscribers. And then the last year I was able to make 82 videos, which is just crazy to me. <laughs> um, and this year I'm hoping to do even more than that. I really wanna start focusing on growing this even more than I have this past year. Now I feel like I kind of have my feet under me and I have a good idea of kind of my style and 
I've obviously learned lots of things about editing and music and photography and all of that, but I just really want to step up my game even more and make sure that I'm bringing you guys the best quality content that I can and really helping you to be inspired, to keep crafting, to keep using your stuff in new ways and to make sure we don't fall in a rut um, where sometimes it gets hard and crafting doesn't feel as fun anymore because if you're watching these videos I'm pretty sure that you're like me and crafting is a great outlet for you for stress anxiety something to help you relax and have fun and I think that um, I'm taking it on as a personal responsibility to make sure that I'm inspiring you guys to have fun so I'm hoping it's working and I can't wait to see what the next year brings for us. Hopefully this time next year, I'll be doing a two year anniversary and I'll be able to update you guys with where our numbers are at at that point too. So uh, back to the card, now is when I'm tying in all of those really fun bright colors. I really just thought that that super bright kind of fuchsia hot pink with those RV markers and then the blue, which I tried to match using my Sandy Allnock hex chart as closely as I could to that lawn fawn paper and then I wanted to tie in a third color and I just thought purple was the perfect option right you kind of get the um, oh my gosh what are those called when your color analogous colors that one when they go in a row so we kind of have blue purple pink at the end of the rainbow and all of those kind of blend and work well together. So I pulled in some BV markers for that purple, just again to help tie them with all the blue. And I just thought it was so cute that they would kind of have like a themed party, even if it's not a birthday party. This obviously could be a birthday card because it's right, cue the confetti, they're partying it up. But it could also be to celebrate any kind of achievement or, you know... You made pancakes today. Congratulations. I don't know. We should celebrate the little things in life too, I think. So I just had so much fun coloring in all their little confetti. And because there was going to be so much going on on this card, I did leave the background blank, but you could obviously color that in however you wanted to fit the scene or the card that you're making. I almost always add little white dots to my animal's cheeks as well as little white dots to their eyes but all of these characters are kind of squinting and smiling so I skipped that and added some highlights to their accessories. Then I die cut out my sentiment using that sweet little banner die and then I used the square stitched um, die cut from My Favorite Things to cut out this sweet, oh, I just love these animals. Um, the thing is this die cuts the stitches on the outside so when I used it before, earlier this month, I cut out images from my pattern paper or the square from my pattern paper and used it almost as a frame around my little animals. But this time I decided it didn't matter. So I just cut the regular square out and um, we didn't worry about the stitching. So I created a side folding A2 size card panel just with white cardstock and I adhered my stripey panel down flat I'm going in now with some anti-static powder from um, Pink and Main. They have this really cute brush that just makes things super easy. And I find that sometimes my sequins get really staticky when I'm using this really thin packaging plastic, even though it's durable enough to hold together to make a shaker. Something about the packaging makes it extra staticky for me. So using just a tiny bit of that powder brush on the side that's going to be in with the sequins helps to keep everything shaking really nice. And then I'm just going one side at a time, run, laying down some really strong double-sided tape and then peeling uh, it up and folding my packaging over. And then you just leave that fourth side open and pour in your sequins. So I also trim off a little bit of that extra packaging on the corners just so it doesn't create a ton of bulk when you go to adhere this down to your card base. So you can see there, I do still have some static, but once I start tapping it and that powder kind of coats some of the sequins, it really helps. So I'm trying to gauge if I have enough in there. And then I decided that just blue on blue wasn't fun enough. So I grabbed one more sequin pack, the confetti sequins from 
This calls for confetti and this one's called Living Coral and it has the most beautiful shift from this like pink to orangey gold. And I thought that the coral color tied in perfectly with our little pig and really helped bring all of the colors and accessories and everything together. So I sealed up that final side and trimmed off the extra gave it a good shake to make sure that my pink and blue were all evenly combined and distributed in there. And then I added some Tombow Permanent Tape Runner to the back of my shaker and popped it right on my card base. I love making shakers this way, either as full shaker panels that you know go all the way edge to edge or these ones that have that cute little frame. I think it's a really fun way to kind of step it up without adding a ton of bulk and to me it's a lot easier than trying to make a shaker pocket or a well where you have to layer everything up. Don't get me wrong, I'll do those too because I love a shaker but the um, where it's a flat envelope kind is just so much easier for me. So I added in my image and my little banner and that is everything complete on this card. I am once again just so grateful um, to all of you and for this whole past year and I kind of want to be like um, Snoop Dogg and be like I'm thankful to myself. I put in so much hard work and I'm so glad that you're here to hang out with me. So thank you so much and hopefully I will see you next Friday. Have a great week and as always happy crafting.